In sedimentary geology and fluvial geomorphology, evolution is the rapid abandonment of a river channel and the formation of a new river channel. Evolutions occur as a result of channel slopes that are much less steep than the slope that the river could travel if it took a new course. Deltaic and net depositional settings. Evolutions are common in deltaic settings, where sediment deposits as the river enters the ocean and channel gradients are typically very small. This process of evolution in deltaic settings is also known as delta switching. Deposition from the river results in the form formation of an individual deltaic lobe that pushes out into the sea. An example of a deltaic lobe is the bird's foot delta of the Mississippi River, pictured at right with its sediment plumes. As the deltaic lobe advances, the slope of the river channel becomes lower because the river channel is longer but has the same change in elevation. As the slope of the river channel decreases, it becomes unstable for two reasons. First, water under the force of gravity will tend to flow in the most direct course downslope. If the river could breach its natural levees, it would spill out onto a new course with a shorter route to the ocean, thereby obtaining a more stable steeper slope. Second, as its slope is reduced the amount of shear stress on the bed will decrease, resulting in deposition of more sediment within the channel and thus raising of the channel bed relative to the floodplain. This will make it easier for the river to breach its levees and cut a new channel that enters the ocean at a steeper slope. When this evolution occurs, the new channel carries sediment out to the ocean, building a new deltaic lobe. The abandoned delta eventually subsides. This process is also related to the distributary network of river channels that can be observed within a river delta. When the channel does this, some of its flow can remain in the abandoned channel. When these channel switching events happen repeatedly over time, a mature delta will gain a distributary network. Subsidence of the delta and or sea level rise can further cause backwater and deposition in the delta. This deposition fills the channels and leaves a geologic record of channel evolution in sedimentary basins. On average, an evolution will occur every time the bed of a river channel aggrades enough that the river channel is super elevated above the floodplain by one channel depth. In this situation, enough hydraulic head is available that any breach of the natural levees will result in an evolution. Erosional evolutions Rivers can also evolve due to the erosion of a new channel that creates a straighter path through the landscape. This can happen during large floods in situations in which the slope of the new channel is significantly greater than that of the old channel. Where the new channel's slope is about the same as the old channel's slope, a partial evolution will occur in which both channels are occupied by flow. An example of an erosional evolution is the 2006 evolution of the Suncook River in New Hampshire, in which heavy rains caused flow levels to rise. The flow level rise was pronounced behind an old mill dam, which produced a shallowly sloping pool that overtopped a sand and gravel quarry, connected with a downstream section of channel, and cut a new channel at a rate of 25 to 50 meters per hour. Sediment mobilized by this erosional evolution produced a depositionally forced meander cut off further downstream by super-elevating the bed around. The meander bent to nearly the level of the floodplain. Meander cutoffs. An example of a minor evolution is known as a meander cutoff, where the high sinuosity meander bend is abandoned in favor of the high slope. This occurs when the ratio between the channel slope and the potential slope after an evolution is less than about one fifth. Occurrence. Evolution typically occurs during large floods which carry the power necessary to rapidly change the landscape. Dam removal could also lead to evolution.
Evolutions usually occur as a downstream to upstream process via head cutting erosion. If a bank of a current stream is breached a new trench will be cut into the existing floodplain. It either cuts through floodplain deposits or reoccupies an old channel. Evolutions have been investigated in the deltas of coastal plain channels as a result of obstructions such as log jams and possible tectonic influences.